Okay, this animal was put down yesterday. Wildlife officials in Wyoming removed this elk from the herd after noticing it behaving strangely. Much of its hide is missing. That's because it has scabies caused by a small mite. But what managers are worried about is another, less visible but more deadly disease. You know, because of the threat of chronic wasting disease, I mean, we take abnormal looking animals very seriously and try to get samples out of them. Related to mad cow disease, chronic wasting disease is typically found in deer and elk. It attacks the central nervous system, causing animals to lose coordination and waste away. It's always fatal. While there's no link between scabies and chronic wasting disease, scabies is a sign of poor health. And sick animals have wildlife managers here on high alert. That's because researchers have discovered the brain-wasting illness in a sick moose. The animal had a worm disease that made it unable to stand. For good measure, managers sent its lymph nodes to the lab to also test for chronic wasting disease. We think it's extremely rare in moose, first of all, and then for us to even find it, it's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. It was the first infected moose found in the wild in Wyoming, and only the fourth in North America. Three moose have tested positive in Colorado. More troubling, this is the first evidence that the disease has crossed the continental divide into northwestern Wyoming. That puts chronic wasting disease much closer to the state's 23 elk feed grounds. Experts warn if the disease reaches the feed grounds, it could kill lots of elk. Feed grounds concentrate elk in artificially high numbers, which makes it easier for infection to spread. But no one really knows how devastating an epidemic of chronic wasting disease could be. CWD is a big mystery to, to all of us. I mean, those of us that look for it in the field, those of us that uh, you know, research it, and interested public and, uh, and sportsmen, we're all very concerned about what chronic wasting disease will do to our wildlife populations. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.